Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo. I've got another video for you guys. We're going to be fan casting a fan favorite character for the MCU, Nightcrawler, otherwise known as Kurt Wagner. He is the German Catholic character that is at many times the heart and soul of the X-Men, other than like, you know, Jean Grey, of course. But there is so many characters that are very well beloved by fans, and this I think is maybe one of the top two or three of all time. So let's not waste too much time. I'm gonna go ahead and jump really quickly into this, but I wanted to show you guys my top 10 picks for Nightcrawler in the MCU. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. All right, so first up on the on this, I wanted to show you guys um, Nightcrawler has currently being is currently being played by Cody Smith McPhee in X Men uh, Dark Phoenix, X Men uh, Apocalypse, X Men Days of Future Past. Uh, that series, um, he was previously played in X Two by Alan Cumming, very well. I really liked that version. I really like Cody Smith McPhee too. But um, after seeing Dark Phoenix, I think Cody Smith McPhee gives Alan Cumming a run for his money. But Alan Cumming is is truly beloved. Brad uh, Swale, if that's how you say his name, voiced him in X Men Evolution. And Neil Ross played him in X-Men, uh, Pride of the X-Men. So that one, I'm not very familiar with, but I uh, I did I do appreciate the other three very, very much. And also, um, I'm, I'm really grateful for uh, the character in general. I've always felt like a connection to that character. Most people, I think, growing up are fan favorite of this character through either the video games, the comics, the show. Um, relation he's he's so deeply tied to all the other characters like mystique and rogue and there's so many others but nevertheless I wanted to show you guys the next page of this slide is that there's many different versions of Nightcrawler okay so if you guys are, are fans of like the TV shows like X-Men Evolution or uh, the 90s series or if you guys were fans of X2 or if you guys like Cody Smith McPhee there's plenty of different versions but also in the comics I wanted to point out this that there is a slightly more masculine version of Nightcrawler where he's not extremely lean he's lean kind of like a cyclist or someone who who you know does bicycle marathons and stuff like that like where he's really fit really lean but he's still muscular and there's renditions of him where he has like long hair and a, and a full-on beard um, and I thought there's a couple versions of the actor choices that I have that I think would go really nicely with that more macho version of Nightcrawler all of which I wish to see with a sword in the MCU there's no reason why we couldn't get that this time around they kind of tease that with Alan Cumming with the knife in the beginning of X2 and then also um, in Dark Phoenix. If you guys haven't seen that, there's some really cool um, scenes with Nightcrawler in there. Probably some of the best we've ever gotten for the character. So if you guys, even if you don't like the movie, it's totally worth the watch if you're a fan of Nightcrawler. So I'll leave that there. But now let's get into the choices. So first up, Jean-Luc Bilodeau. If that's how you say it, I'm not, I don't speak French um, or Canadian, Fr French Canadian. But this to me... Is a, is a really great choice. He's 28 years old. He's five foot ten, and uh, I know him from Baby Daddy. Some of you guys probably know him from like Kyle X Y or Sixteen Wishes, No Ordinary Family. Um, he's been in a, like a number of TV shows. I think a couple of small films, mostly TV. Um, but this guy's really talented. I I really liked the guy on Baby Daddy. Really funny, but he can play really serious roles very very well. Um, he was the main character of that show, which. Um, it ran for I think it was like four years or five years or something like that I think it was five years yeah it says here 2012 to 2017 about five years great show um, but I wanted to show you guys a piece of art that I did to kind of give a representation there's not a lot of fan art because not a lot of people know about this actor little known but great talent so I wanted to show you guys um, an image that I did for the fan casting summit and I'll share with you now so this is an image that I just basically painted in blue, added some fur, um, gave him the elf ears and the tail, changed the color of his suit, and uh, kind of adjusted his uh, his hair a little bit that way, and then gave him the fangs. So, oh, and bright, I made his eyes yellow too. So you can kind of just see the gist of what he might possibly be able to look like. Obviously, this is way crappier than you'd get him in the MCU, of course. But, you know, for my limited Photoshop skills, hopefully this is a decent representation of what he might be able to look like. So um, I think that could work. I think he's right around the same age that I would want him probably for the X-Men. Maybe on the, a little on the older side. In fact, I think most of my choices are older. But I do have a couple of choices that are a little bit younger. So maybe you guys might be able to cling to those if you want a young Nightcrawler. So anyway, that's my cho first choice. Let's go to the next choice. So next up is Devin Bostic, who's 27 years old and 6 feet tall. 
You guys probably know him mostly from either Diary of a Wimpy Kid or uh, The 100, where he plays um, Jasper. And so he plays Jasper on The 100. I wanted to show you guys, there's no fan art. I haven't seen any fan art for this guy, but he has that kind of look that would get closer to, not a bearded Nightcrawler, but a little bit older, like maybe where he's getting ready to lead the Excalibur team or something, you know? So I think that he has a really nice look for Nightcrawler, very lanky, very thin. Um, but also, uh, he's tall and I don't, he doesn't look like a total pushover. You know, he's not the strongest guy on the team for sure, but he's, he looks like he could play someone that's quite nimble. So in that respect, I think he would be a really good choice. Um, yeah. And so he's my second, second offer there. Let me know what you guys think about him down below. Next up, we've got Luke Baines. Luke Baines is 29 years old. Um, and I believe, I don't see uh, a height listed here for him. Um, but that's okay. It's not super. It's not super important. But you guys probably have seen him on Shadow Hunters or the girl in the photographs under the Silver Lake, saving Mr. Banks. Truth or dare? Um, this guy plays a lot of creepy roles, like like de like demonic roles or horror film roles. But um, he also has like really sharp features, sharp jawline, sharp cheekbones. He does look very like uh, Caucasian or perhaps even falling into the German line. So I think that he would probably be able to pull off um, a very um, uh, ethnically correct version of, of Nightcrawler. And I think that would be pretty fun to see. Um, not my first choice. Not even my second choice, really, but I thought that he was an interesting, interesting choice. A guy with a very particular look that I think would lend itself really nicely to the creepiness of the appearance of Nightcrawler, um, despite his very tender, faithful, hopeful, loving inside. You know what I mean? So I, I just want to throw his name in the hat. So Luke Baines for Nightcrawler. Let me know what you guys think about this guy. All right, next up, we've got Elijah Wood, who's get, now we're getting into some of the older choices. He's 38 years old, but he's five foot six. He can play it very, he can play a very young character. In fact, a lot of the roles he plays even recently were roles that were supposed to be in his like 20s or early 20s or coming, just coming into college age, um, that type of age range because he's so youthful. So you could pull off a much younger role with someone like Elijah Wood, especially with his um, size, his frame, uh, all, all of that, I think factors really nicely into what you could get away with with this guy. You guys know him as Frodo Baggins. Um, he was he plays uh, he played in Wilfred as well, which is a really uh, funny but mature show. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead to some of these images. One of the reasons why I picked him again was because of his frame. Um, this is him on Wilfred, just in a t-shirt, kind of cruising around. Now again, he didn't have any reason to be like fit or particularly in shape, but he was never really like someone that was out of shape. So if he needed to, I'm sure that he could like just start working out a little bit, just improve his cardio, and then uh, and then just get really you know trim and lean for the role. I mean, he is already pretty slender, but. Um, I think that he could, you know, add a little bit of muscle and still have that fit Nightcrawler look. Um, very chiseled jaw, uh, sharp nose features, you know, like I think this guy would really have a really nice look for Nightcrawler. So anyway, that's all I'll say about that. Let me know what you guys think about Elijah Wood, Frodo Baggins playing Nightcrawler in the MCU. So next up, we've got uh, one of my younger choices. At 23 years old, we have Timothy Chalamet, a fan favorite actor right now. Um, five foot ten, but look at the facial structure on this guy. You guys know him from Beautiful Boy, Interstellar, Hot Summer Nights, um, Lady Bird. He's going to be in the upcoming Dune. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just uh, this is a an art by I think this is a buddy of mine who's been on the fan casting summits before. Fancaster twenty three. Um, I just happened to stumble upon this on a Google search. So when I found that it was it was my boy, I thought, hey, you know why not just show this one off? It's a really cool piece of art. I like this. Um, this shows Timothy Chalamet as Nightcrawler, which I think is great. But I also did an art piece for him, which I'll show you right now from uh, the Fan Casting Summit, where Timothy Chalamet is here with the fangs. He's got the tail. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really augment his ears much there, but I did, um, I did change the color of his eyes and his skin and his hair. And I think you wouldn't have to change much to make him look like Nightcrawler. His strong, sharp feature, facial features are very. Um, uh, helpful in the aesthetic of aiming for Nightcrawler because you won't have to stretch very far to make him look like that comic book character. So in my opinion, I think that not only is he one of the best young actors alive right now, um, and not only, I believe, 
he's no stranger to doing accents as well. I think he's uh, I think he's done a few of those already. But he is uh, he's also got the right look for that role. Uh, body body type, you know, body uh, like fitness, and then also his facial features. I think would be really great for that if you want to go for a younger Nightcrawler. So let me know what you guys think about um, about Timothy Chalamet for Nightcrawler. So. Next, we have Andrew Garfield, 35 years old and 5 foot 10. Now, I always thought that Andrew Garfield was a little bit on the slender side to play Spider-Man. Now, of course, he did he did work out a lot and try to get as fit as possible for Spider-Man, which he did a really good job. Um, the Spider-Man suit looked great on him, I thought, um, but I think that he is kind of cut out and built for a role that is a little closer to Nightcrawler. I would like to see him get a chance to pick his pick himself back up from the loss of sony just cutting the contracts and and ditching out on the amazing spider-man 3 and pick him up and and bring him over to the mcu and give him a shot to shine over there so that would be really cool love to see andrew garfield get that opportunity he's a little bit older again 35 years old but um five foot ten i think he's got the right frame the right build and if you want to go for a slightly older nightcrawler that i think he would be a good pick for that so let's take a look. Not a lot of fan art here, but um, you guys, you guys already know his body type. I mean, like here in even in the Spider-Man suit, he doesn't look a lot like Spider-Man. He's really thin. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't really appear to be very spider-like uh, in these in in the costume. I thought even Tobey Maguire was much more of a better fit than even Andrew Garfield. But Andrew Garfield's slender build. Um, allowed him to kind of have like a lankier kind of Spider-Man, which also looked cool. It was very distinct, but man, I think it would work really nicely for, for Nightcrawler. So anyway, that's all I really wanted to say about him. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, so next up is Aaron Jakubenko, uh, who is 30 years old and he is uh, 5'11", so a little bit younger than, say, Andrew Garfield. This guy was in the Shannara Chronicles, um, a lesser known show that ran from 2016 to 2017, which I really liked. I thought it was, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a great adventure, but, um, it was at times a little bit cheap, you know, it was cheesy and it had some, some of the writing was, uh, I think directed a little bit more for, um, chicks than it was for general audience or for dudes, which to me was a little bit of a drawback because it wasn't really my style. But most of the show, I will say, was quite enjoyable. And it had Manu Bennett in it, who's one of my favorite actors. So um, Aaron Jakubenko was one of the best parts of this show. And he played one of the princes of, of like the uh, human kingdoms or whatever. But I think he would be a really good pick. Now look at the face on this guy. He's got kind of a, lo a little bit of a longer face with sharper features. And uh, I think he would, man, I think he would do a really good job playing a much more mature adult masculine version of Nightcrawler. If you want to give him the beard um, and just have him rock that sword and just go ham on people, I think he would be a great choice for that. Um, Aaron Jakubenku is one of my favorite choices on this list. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about Aaron playing Nightcrawler in the MCU. So next we have Marcus Venko, again, another Shannara Chronicles actor with much less, I think he was in Unbroken, he was in Unbroken as well, but um, this guy is 29 years old, little bit younger than Aaron, and um, it doesn't, I don't, oh wait, here I think it says he's 5 foot 11, so uh, it's not listed here in the main screen, but down below I can see at one of those down here that it was saying he's 5 foot 11, so hopefully that's accurate information. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what he kind of looked like as um, Bandon in the Shannara Chronicles, where this kind of struck, it struck me because he had elven ears and he kind of had like a, like semi-long hair. Um, now he's a lot more, I think, built or buff or has a much more muscular frame than I think most people would want for Nightcrawler, um, even if it's, you know, a little bit odd, but I think he would also be a, an interesting choice and it was a little bit outside the box so i wanted to throw him at the wall and see how how many of you this sticks to so if you guys like marcus vanko uh in the shannara chronicles and you'd like to see him in the mcu maybe this is the role for him maybe not let me know who you think marcus should play instead so if you guys like him for nightcrawler let me know want to hear from you guys and next we have 
Colin O'Donohue, again, a little bit older of an actor choice, 38 years old, 5'11". You guys know him from Once Upon a Time, and some of you guys who have seen The Right, What Still Remains, The Dust Storm, Storage 24, then um, you guys are also familiar with him. But he is most and best known for his role on Once Upon a Time as Captain Hook, which is really fun because as Nightcrawler, I want the next Nightcrawler we get on live action, I want to see him like a friggin swashbuckler like I want to see him with the sword just carving dudes up um, he should be like not unstoppable um, acrobat just flying all over the place up the walls and just chopping people up I want to see that and I want I think that Colin Donahue would be a great great choice for this he looks the part um, he's got approximately the right build and uh, he's good at accents and he is no stranger to sword fighting because of his work on once upon a time so I think that he would be a really great choice for this. Let me know what you guys think about Colin Donahue as Nightcrawler in the MCU. And then finally, my last choice on this list of 10 actors is Ezra Miller, 26 years old, 5 foot 11. You guys know him as The Flash from, or Barry Allen The Flash from Justice League and the DCEU. And uh, he's scheduled to be in the Flashpoint movie, although I think they've renamed that since then. And then also uh, Justice League, he was in that, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, you guys probably know and like this actor, maybe not for his work in the DCEU. Some of you will, some of you won't. I liked him there. I, I thought it felt more like Wally West than Barry, but I think that comes down to writing and directing more than it does um, him. I think it was maybe a slight miscast. However, I think he would kill it as Nightcrawler. This isn't, there's not a lot of fan art here for him as Nightcrawler. However, I do I do think that he would look really nice. This is an art piece. Um, I think it's by Brit Edit, um, if, if I'm getting that correctly. But uh, not a lot of art pieces, but this one did come up, so I thought that was really interesting. I think he's got, again, it's those sharp facial features that I think are gonna help make Nightcrawler feel like Nightcrawler and stand out in comparison to the other Nightcrawlers we've seen so far in live action. So not a lot to show here. But that kind of brings it to a close. So again, just to uh, go over the list, we have Jean-Luc Billadou at 28 years old and 5 foot 10. We have Devin Bostic at 27 years old and 6 feet tall. Luke Baines, 29 years old. And I don't have a height listed here for him. We also have Elijah Wood, 38 years old, 5 foot 6. We have Timothy Chalamet, 23 years old and 5 foot 10. Andrew Garfield, 35 years old and 5 foot 10. Aaron Jakubenko at 30 years old and 5 foot 11. Marcus Vanko at 29 years old and 5 foot 11. Colin O'Donohue at 38 years old and 5 foot 11. And Ezra Miller at 26 years old and 5 foot 11. If you guys feel differently about my choices, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for paying attention to this video. Let me know who you guys thought was your favorite actor to play Nightcrawler in the MCU. I want to hear from you guys. Which one of my choices was your favorite? Which one did you guys think sucked the most? I want to hear about that too. And if I missed someone that you thought would be great for the role, let me know who that is down below as well. Let's have this conversation so that you guys can be part of the stuff of legend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a single thing. Anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate it. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.